Hi, I'm Pierre Benerup, Chairman and CEO of Sunny Border Nurseries in Kensington, Connecticut. Today I'd like to talk about the genus Coreopsis, uh, a Native American plant. There are many species within the genus. In front of you here are several of the newer varieties which we have introduced in the last couple of years. We are introducing many more. They are the relatives of the chrysanthemum. Most people know what a chrysanthemum is. Chrysanthemums are native basically to Asia, Japan, China, that area. They are hybrids of various wild species. These are hybrids of various American native species. And closely related, as I say, to chrysanthemums, they are a daisy and member of the aster family or the daisy family, sometimes called composite family. They can do some unusual things which are not common with chrysanthemums, although in many respects they imitate chrysanthemums. One thing they do is they will change color. Uh, this particular variety here is pale yellow in the heat of summer. As soon as it cools down in the fall, it turns red and eventually totally red, which is quite curious. Uh, big advantage of Coreopsis, other than they're being native and therefore probably better adapted to our climate, is that they are hardier. Not all types are hardy because some are native all the way down into the southern states and some into the southwest, southwestern states. The fact is the ones we have here are all tested to hardiness zone 5 and are totally hardy in almost any northeast garden situation. Uh, I'd like to walk you down through and show you a few of the other varieties. The variety I've just shown you was called Red Shift. Uh, other than a shift being a type of dress, uh, it shifts from pale yellow to red as the season progresses. It has been in bloom since June. It's late August now. It will bloom till October. Another advantage is Coreopsis over chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums typically bloom three to four weeks in the fall and not after that. Many of the newer varieties are called garden mums rather than hardy chrysanthemums as they once were called. The reason for that is they are not hardy in most parts of the Northeast. Uh, this, is, this is a very hardy variety. Again, that's red shift. I'll show you another one which has been very popular. This variety is called Cosmic Eye. It's a much lower, more compact grower. Also has been in bloom for over a month, will bloom continually through September, uh, meaning it'll bloom seven to eight weeks. It's similar namesake over here is called Cosmic Evolution. That opens pure white, rather large flowers, and then turns red and white, like that, and is probably the heaviest bloomer. This series is called the Big Bang series, and that is an unbelievable bloom. It's been in bloom for two months since June to the end of August now. We will continue to bloom with hard frost. This variety is called Sienna Sunset. Uh, it's our own introduction and also blooms for an extended period of time. It's an unusual color, not a color that you find often, but it blends very well with almost any other color in the garden. Uh, Again, very compact and a very long blooming plant. Off to my right, your left, is a variety of bright pale yellow. This is called Full Moon. Again, one of the Big Bang uh, theories. Uh, these come, by the way, from a high uh, breeder by the name of Daryl Probst, who works in Massachusetts in a cold zone five. All of these plants have been tested for winter hardiness. They've also been tested for disease resistance, insect resistance. Might add that there are also annual Coreopsis. This is one called Jive. Uh, it's white with a deep maroon uh, eye. 
it blooms all season. It starts blooming in May and it blooms until hard frost. It's very compact, it's a thread leaf form. It will not survive winter. Definition of an annual, by the way, is a plant that germinates, grows, flowers, goes to seed, and dies all within a single growing season. Uh, many people are confused between annuals and perennials, not knowing which is what. Classic definition of a perennial, by the way, is any flowering plant that would live year to year had it lived in the first place. These will live. I assure you that these will live for you. This is a variety called the uh, Star Cluster. You can see how heavy the bloom is. You should probably pick up a plant and show you what a plant looks like. This will bloom again until hard frost. You can see many buds in there. It's been blooming for about a month already. Um, these are, again, hardiness tested to zone five, possibly older than that. Okay. Finally today, I'd like to show you one last variety. This one is called Galaxy. It's a dwarf, uh, or fairly dwarf compact yellow. Also a very long bloomer and also very hardy. Uh, any of these are really superior uh, order perennials and will give you long lasting color. Keep in mind that many perennials simply bloom for a week to two weeks and then you don't see anything other than green leaves for the rest of the year. Here you have a perennial plant that in many respects mimics annuals who have one season to bloom and then they're finished, they're dead. Uh, so here we have plants that are not dead, give you six to eight weeks of flower every year. Thank you very much.